It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. I want to tell you something about the death of Christ and the crucifixion of Christ. You were there. Come on, Jesus was there, but God said you were there too. You were crucified with him. You were dying with him. You were buried with him. You were made alive with him. Look, you were there. Come on, Paul said, I was crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live in this flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Come on, somebody ought to shout about that and say, I was there. Come on, I was there. Come on, I was there in his death. I was there in his burial. I was there when he was made alive. I was there when he was raised up, and I'm seated there right now in him. Woo! Go ahead and shout just a little bit. Woo! Yeah, I was there. Woo, I was there. I, I was there. I was there. So A.J. Gordon says this way. He's got a book called In Christ, so I got a quote out of there. He said, the events of what happened on the cross, the death of Christ, the cross of Christ, the burial and the resurrection of Christ, those events are actually reenacted in every believer. He said, in those events, are immortal in energy and limitless in application. All right, let's try that. I just like that quote. Come on, these events that brought you into union with Christ. I said these events, what happened on the cross? What happened when Jesus died? What happened when he shed his blood? What happened when he took his blood into heaven? These events are immortal Immortal, immortal, eternal, eternal life. Immortal in energy and limitless in application. That means the devil can't do nothing that you can't throw the blood at him and say, take your hands off of me now. Come on, my family, every area. I plead the blood. Go ahead and laugh for me and say, ha, ha. Woo. My union with Christ. You know, sometimes they do a Civil War reenactment somewhere, you know, if you're in the South. They don't do that man in the North, I don't think. Anyway. <laughs> they don't have to. I guess they want to. Right? Well, in the church... We have a reenactment every time there's a water baptism. Every time we take the Lord's Supper or we take communion, what are y'all doing? We're doing a reenactment of our identification with Christ. We're doing a reenactment of our union with Christ through his blood, through his body, through his death, and through his resurrection. Woo! Glory to God. Ha ha. Praise the Lord. 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 My favorite in Christ scripture. Now thanks be unto God who always Come on, I just like to win. 
and I like to win all the time. Now, thanks be unto God who always, always causes us to triumph in Christ. In other words, Jesus spoiled principalities. He made a show of them openly. He triumphed over them. So the triumph is not the fight. The triumph is the celebration after the battle's over. Amen. So I heard about this monk that was in a monastery. <laughs> He'd been standing there for years trying to be holy. So finally he went down to the basement, started studying the original manuscripts, and they heard him scream. And he said, ah, it's celebrate. All those years he'd been living celibate. And the original translation was celebrate. Come on, I look at Christians today and I think something has been lost in translation somewhere. Come on. Yeah. You need to see the original manuscript because it's celebrate. Thanks be unto God who always causes me to celebrate the triumph of Jesus. His victory is my victory. Woo! Woo! Ha, ha, ha. Glory to God. Look at Galatians 2.20 real quickly here. Wow. I've only gotten a couple of in Christ scriptures here. We've got a few more. Identification. Identified. My identity is in Christ. In union with him. Joined to him. Galatians 2.20 other translations say, I am. I like because it starts off with I am. Because when he said, I'm crucified with Christ, what he's saying is, and this is really a powerful confession, isn't it? Amen. It's not just Paul. Paul's revelation is for every believer. So it's not just Paul. This is the confession that every believer could make every day. I am, I am, I am, I am. In other words, what happened on the cross has changed who I am. Praise the Lord. Let's try that one more time. I said, what happened on the cross has changed who I am. Come on, you don't have to find yourself an Ancestry.com. I hope you don't find yourself through your feelings. I hope you don't try to find yourself <laughs> through watching television. You find yourself in Christ. Jesus actually found himself in Isaiah. So in Luke chapter 4, it says he found the place where it was written, and he said... The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Come on. They said, well, you're just a carpenter's son. We know you, you ain't nobody special. He said, but I found myself. How many ever been reading the New Testament and went, I just found myself? Amen. I found myself. So Jesus was constantly confessing. So it's not enough to to know your identity, you have to carry it. Come on, you can't show up at the airport. They say, Where, where's your identification? You say, uh, uh, I forgot it. They say, well, you ain't going nowhere until you find it. So some people, you know, they know a little bit about this, but they don't carry it. So Jesus constantly confessed his identity, who he is, and his destiny. He constantly confessed it. Uh, it's a sad thing for people who don't know who they are, where they came from. 
and where they're going. So Jesus is constantly confessing, this is who I am. This is where I came from. This is where I'm going. <laughs> Amen. So what a powerful confession for you to hold fast to your identification with Christ, who you are in him. Amen. All right. You find Galatians 2.20, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Because people that are crucified don't survive. And you did not. There is no evidence left of you. When you say me, who are you talking about? Come on, Paul would say, I keep under my body and I bring it. Most days, days people would have to reverse that, you know, their body, you know. Paul said, no, I. Who's I? He's talking about the spirit man on the inside, I. I. That's who I am. I keep under my body and I bring what? It. Come on, while your body's whining or complaining. How I many know oh, you got to talk to it? I, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. Come on, guys, knock your eye out. You got too many eyes all the time. Who's your definition of I? Come on, where did you get that from? I hope not on Ancestry.com. Come on, where did you get that from? My identification, now I'm carrying it. My old identity, and this is uh, the Passion Translation. My old identity has been co-crucified with the Messiah and no longer lives. For the nails of his cross crucified me with him. And now the essence of this new life is no longer mine, for the anointed one lives his life through me, and we live in union as one. My new life is empowered by the faith of the Son of God who loves me so much that he gave himself for me and dispenses his life into mine. Uh, another translation says, I consider myself as having died, and now I'm enjoying a second existence, which is simply Jesus using my body. Message Bible says, I identified myself completely with Christ. My identity completely comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. His life, his life is now on the inside of you as a believer. That's who I am. So you must constantly find yourself. I like to say the death and resurrection of Christ is a group picture. The first thing you look for in a group picture is yourself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's see. Woo. When I was in high school, I had a um, biology teacher named Mr. Cates, still remember him, and uh, got in biology, which is a study of living things. While I'm in the class, he says there are two kinds of living things. And so he went on and on. Two kinds of living things. This is a study of all living things. And there's two major categories of all living things. That all living things are either plants or they're animals. And the plants, you have plant life. Animals, you have animal life. Plant life, you have the plant kingdom. And the animals, you have animal life. You have the animal kingdom. Two kinds of living things. Every living thing is either a plant or an animal. So he went through that over and over. So we were uh, 16 or 17, I guess. So he says, uh, how many of y'all in here plants? Well, nobody raised their hand. How many of y'all are animals? Well, a few people raised their hand. <clears throat> how many of y'all are alive? Some more raised their hand. Every living thing is either a plant or an animal. Every living thing is a plant or an animal. You got plant life, animal life. Come on. Says, Every living thing is plant or animal. So he finally kept with that until all the students in the class raised their hand 
that they were animals. Except me. I wouldn't raise my hand. So Mr. Cates, he smoke a lot and he cough a lot and he goes. <laughs> he said, Mr. Hankin, are you a plant? And I said, no, sir. He said, then you must be an animal. I said, no, sir. What are you? I said, I am a spirit made in the image of God, made a shade lower than God himself. He said, we are not talking about religion. I said, I am not either. Come on, I ain't no plant, ain't no animal. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. In other words, Jesus said, I came to bring you the God kind of life, spiritual life, heaven's life, resurrection life, reigning life. I came to give you this life, the same life that's in God, the same life that's in the Son. He said, I'm going to bring that life to you. I'm going to put that life on the inside of you. Come on, that's eternal life. Every religion offers lessons, but only Jesus can give you eternal life. Come on, that's the crowning achievement of the plan of redemption is for you to receive eternal life. Jesus came to give you that life. He that hath the Son has life. The devil cannot dominate any human being that has this life. Let's try this out of it. I said the devil cannot dominate any, any person that has this life. Come on, I got the life of God on the inside of me. I got the life of Christ on the inside of me. He gave us the same life that he gave to Christ. crowning achievement of the plan of redemption was to give you life, spiritual life, the God kind of life. It is that life that makes you a new creature. What kind of creature are you anyhow? We've been wondering that. What kind of a creature are you anyhow? Come on, you look like a regular person on the outside, but on the inside, Come on, you, you can no longer say I'm only human. You can say I'm also human, but I am not only human. Come on, what happened? My identification with Christ simply means the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives on the inside of me, and that life is on the inside of me right now. That means the devil can't dominate you. Ha, ha. Jay Dickey sitting down here with Janice. And that COVID tried to get a hold of him a few years ago. <laughs> he was at home. She said, you're going to have to go to the hospital. And his lungs filling up. And so he said, no, I got to go to work. She said, no, you're going to go to the hospital. <laughs> Put the stethoscope on him. And, and he's laying in that chair. And she said, oh, it looked bad, sounded bad. And so he stayed there for a while. And then finally he jumped out of that chair. He said, I got too much of the life of God on the inside of me for that COVID to dominate me. Jumped out. Come on, I need you to say something about the kind of life you got on the inside of you. I got too much of that. Of it. He jumped out of that recliner and went to work the next morning. No more COVID. Somebody said, would that work on COVID? Absolutely. Everybody say, I got too much of the life of God on the inside of me. All right. So now you've got your identification. 35 in Christ scriptures. And when this is like a six-month study here. You're just getting one shot of it. Little B12 might give you a shot of this. But it is your confession. Come on, the moment you confess and speak the word of God, 
you confess and say the same identical thing that God says about your situation. What you going to say about that? The moment you confess, you know, we flew commercial a few weeks ago. And we don't, we've, we've had a jet for, for many years. It is a lifesaver. But when you fly commercial, I mean, it's like a totally different thing. So we had to fly commercial. Our pilots wanted off for Easter. So I said, all right, we'll fly commercial. Went and preached for Dave and Vicki Sharon in Las Vegas. So I got on American Airlines. I'm not used to this. Don't like people telling me what to do all the time. I'm used to royal treatment. <clears throat> I'm a private jet person. I actually told one of the stewardess one time, I said, I wouldn't even be here if my jet wasn't in maintenance. She went, ha, ah, that's real funny. So she thought, <laughs> I mean, I want to try that sometime. Huh? I wouldn't be here if my jet wasn't in maintenance right now. So I'm trying to get some. Special treatment, right? So I found out how to survive. I actually, Trent and I actually rode the last day before they took the mask away. How lucky can you get? So I had to wear the mask. I found out how to eat a turkey sandwich for two hours. Y'all know how to do that? Put up there now. Come on, that stewardess comes back around. She goes, pull up your mask. And I went, turkey sandwich, turkey sandwich. Got to eat my turkey sandwich. So then, then my secretary always get us in the exit row. So here she comes. We're in the exit row. Mind her own business. She comes up and says, excuse me, excuse me. Will you help me in the event of emergency? I nodded and said, please leave me alone. <laughs> she said, excuse me, sir. You must give me a verbal response. I said, oh, yes, ma'am. I will help you in the event of an emergency. I'll be the first one out the window. <laughs> I thought, huh, she needs a verbal response. I thought, imagine what God wants out of you when you've been nodding at his promises for the last 30 years and God said, excuse me, I need you to say something about what God has done for you in Christ. I need a verbal response. I need you to say something. I need you to lift your voice. I don't want no more nods in here. Come on, lift your voice and say, thank you, Jesus. I'm washed in the blood. Woo! Glory to God. You are watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Many religions offer lessons but only Jesus Christ came to give life. Eternal life is not something you get when you die and go to heaven. Eternal life is something that happens in your spirit when you are born again. Eternal life is the divine nature of God. It is a spiritual substance that is in God himself. And when you get born again, we receive that same life. The great news is, as believers, we have the same life in us. Overcoming life, joyful life, victorious life, supernatural life. In his brand new book, The God Kind of Life, Pastor Mark Hankins will show you everything available as believers when you receive eternal life. Eternal life isn't just a place you will go someday. This God kind of life that's on the inside of you changes everything. In Christ, all things are new. 
For your gift of any amount, we'll also include Pastor Hankins' book, The Power of Identification with Christ. You have a supernatural identity. You must have a change of identity to reach your divine destiny. In the spirit of wisdom and revelation, God will show you who you are in Christ. Order this special package today. Your gift will help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. For your gift of any amount, you will receive the brand new book, The God Kind of Life, and the book, The Power of Identification with Christ. Please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Mission Partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you so much for joining us for the program today. We trust that it was a blessing to you. Well, we have some exciting news today. My dad has a very brand new book. It's called The God Kind of Life. This is a powerful book, and, and what I love about it is it talks about the kind of life that you can receive just by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Once you do that, you have eternal life. And that's exciting, and that's great for one day when we go to heaven, but you also have a promise for a life here on earth. You can live a victorious life, a resurrection life. That doesn't mean it's a life without struggle or without trials or anything like that, but it does mean that you can make it through. You know, in John 10, 10, it says the thief comes, but for to steal and kill and destroy, but I have come that you might have life and abundant life. One translation says a better way of life. We want to get this book to you. We want to sow it into your life for any gift that you would like to, to give to Mark Hankins Ministries. We want to get it to you. So you can call the number on the screen, go to markhankins.org and we will get it to you. Have a wonderful day. I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Until next time. Join Mark and Trina Hankins for an hour of powerful teaching live Monday through Friday on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone can join In Christ Bible School. Catch the spirit of faith and move the mountains in your life. Watch live wherever you are and learn who you are in Christ. That's live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.